Wow. No. Here we are, live. YouTube, what is going on? Let's first make sure we're ready to rock and roll here. Haven't done one of these videos in quite some time. And I love doing this type of video. Ah, yes. Let's see. Let's see if the mic is on, rolling good. Let's first make sure we're ready to rock and roll here. Haven't done one of these videos in quite some time. There you go. We're all good. All good in the hood. Please like this video. Hit that. Actually, don't hit it. Smash the subscribe button. For all amazing content, sports related. And uh, we're going to keep it short and sweet and simple today. We're going to go unbox baseball cards. Unbox baseball cards. And here you go. This is actually the standard box that I have been using. It's uh, 100 baseball cards and one pack. This is their Fairfield Company. On Twitter, Fairfield Co. This is actually an older box. I've seen the newer boxes in uh, CVS and uh, Walgreens. And Rite Aid, that's, that's where you get them. Uh, they're actually now 80 cards. So they've, they've gypped us with 20 cards. And not cool at all. How about that for uh, for sound effects? Motorcycles <laughs> running up and down the street, flying by, whizzing by. No regards for any speed limits whatsoever. Cause why? 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 Why have any regards in being a good human being? Anyway, here we go. 100 baseball cards plus one pack. I'm going to do the unboxing. These cards have treated me right. For the most part, uh, you're not going to get any outstanding card. I mean, uh, anything that rocks, uh, that's going to rock you, uh, throw you off your seat. Uh, decent cards. Sometimes you have to be aware of the doubles. And the triples and the quadruples. But let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? The box is not the easiest box to open, but that's all right. Let's put you down here one second. Microphone. Here we go. Anyway, how about those Astros? It's like, you want to hate them. I think most of us do. Oh, excuse me. This is Alvin Davis. Let's uh, adjust this here. Alvin Davis. By the way, check out the uh, the baseball shirt here. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Sandlot. Got all dressed up for this live stream. Ron Darling. Oh, boy. These are a trail of Met cards. This is a loser pack. Steve Lyons. Anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, I mean, how about them? They're, they're, the Astros, what, forced a game six. Atlee Hamacher, 
Rod Nichols. Cal Eldridge, I remember this name. Prospect. I uh, never really lived up to that, that name. But anyway, like I was saying, it's like, do you, you uh, they're forcing a game six against the, uh, the Rays here. And it's like, do you really want to root for this team? Like you, you, you don't, but but then you feel, then you see that Dusty Baker is there, and everyone everyone lo loves Dusty Baker. He's a he's a he's a he's a favorite, and he's getting up there in age. Amazing that he's actually uh, still coaching uh, even with the pandemic. That says a lot, and he, and he hasn't won anything as far as being a manager in the World Series. So it's like, do you root for him because he's the manager of the the cheating Astros? So you know, you're, you're, you're torn. This is Tom Herr, a New York Met. Second Met card here. We're on a roll. This is going to be a quite the uh, quite the sorry bunch of players here. Dwayne Ward. Vance Law. Can I have a gazillion Vance Law card, cards in case anyone wants them? Here we go. This is Year in Review 97. Kurt Schilling, Sports Illustrated. Kurt Schilling spent the first nine years of his career showing flashes of pure power on the mound. Kurt Schilling is a dude that should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, but, and I think he's going to eventually get there. He's just been being shut out because of, I think... Listen, the writers necessarily don't like him. He's a little bit too vocal. With, uh, you know, he's a little bit kooky with his political um, commentary at times there. So it's a matter of whether you like the guy or whether you don't. And unfortunately, stats sometimes get thrown to the, to the side here. Felix Furman. This is Sandy Alomar Jr., good defensive cats, uh, catcher. Very good uh, defensive catcher. From the Alamo Brothers. Leads me to my next question here. Sammy Sosa, drawing power. You know, you have guys like uh, going into this offseason. Uh, JT Romalto. Good bat. Great catcher. But do you go out there, if you're a GM, if you're a Brian Cashman, if you're, you're the, uh, you know, if you're the new owner of the Mets, Steve Cohen, do you spend that type of money on a catcher? Being that catchers break down now, almost considered like running backs, would you invest that type of money? Mike Gardiner. And this is a Johnny Smoltz card, which is pretty good here. Uh, Johnny Smoltz, Hall of Famer. Let's see. It's a little, a little peeky poo here. See what this card could be worth. Again, I still don't really know, you know, how valuable a source is over another. 1991 Fleer card. Nope, that's not it. 1991 Fleer card 704 John Smoltz. Put that one to the side there. Let's see, Amazon... 249 plus the buck 99 in shipping. So we could use that as a bit of reference here. Um, or we could go collectors.com. Ah, we could get it for a buck there. Um, or eBay. 99 cents. Oh, or you have a buck 20 here, actually. I'm sorry. So. A buck twenty for Hall of Fame pitcher John Smoltz. Met killer though, so he's a okay in my book. Neil he Heaton, uh, Steve Sachs, Geraldo Para, Frank Bullock. 1993 tops. Alan Ashby. 
Todd Stoddard. K9, Jeff Conine. Good bat. Good bat. Sid Bream. Mike Heath. Danny Darwin. Tom Lawless. I hope you followed the law. Did Mr. Lawless follow the law? So Tom Lawless, if your case you were interested, uh, started his career in 82. Um, as of 87, so from an 82 to 87 stretch, one home run, 17 RBI, 216 batting average. He could have played for the Mets and be a cleanup hitter. Anyway, Dave uh, Drzecki. Terry Pendleton. Decent player, uh, and I believe is with the, uh, with the Braves now as a third baseman coach. Walt Weiss. Joel Davis. I'm going to take a little pause here to blow my nose. Talks amongst yourselves. Now, this card and this pack hasn't been that sexy. As soon as I see as soon as I seen those two Mets, I should have known be going uh be downhill with this pack. Eric King. By the way, I did do some other videos uh, on baseball earlier. That's why again you should be smashing the like button and the subscribe button. And uh, I talked about um Keith Moreland, uh, I talked about Renteria, the manager from the White Sox that was fired, Carmelo Castillo, Castillo. You know, seems like the guy that's always, you know, um, maid of honor, never the bride, so to speak, always gets fired right at the brink of, you know, when the team is good. So he's there for the rebuild, right? And then all of a sudden... As the team makes the playoff this year, uh, he gets fired. Mind you, this team was doing uh, nothing the past couple of years. The team makes the playoffs. Now management thinks, okay, well, this team is no longer in rebuild. They're ready to take the next step forward. And uh, we're just going to get rid of this guy because he's not the coach when, uh, you know, uh, in, in, the, in the winning years. We don't want him to be the guy. So it almost reminds me like a Buck Showalter with the Yankees. Let go right before, you know, the Yankees broke out in the mid-90s. Tracy Jones. Okay. Look at this guy. Uh, Diamond uh, standouts. Darren Erstead. Good guy. Good, good scrappy player. Danny Martinez. Pat. Borders. John Shelby. Oh. <laughs> Johnny Franco. Look at that. Pre-mustache, pre-beard, when he wasn't miserable, when he was actually good with the Cincinnati Reds. Career began back in 81. Jeff uh, Deadman. Mookie Wilson. Oh, gosh. Told you this pack is going to crap. This is when he was with the Toronto uh, Blue Jays in 1990. Uh, Mookie Wilson. Uh, 
I will, I'm just looking at the card. Mookie, Mookie Wilson, I've always known him from being um, uh, with the Mets, but just looking at Mookie Wilson in a Blue Jay uniform doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> Look at this. Bobby Bonilla. Happy Bobby Bonilla Day, in case you guys were wondering when that is. That's July 1st, because Bobby Bonilla, who hasn't been playing baseball in eons and eons, still gets $1 million every July 1st. Happy Bobby Bonilla Day. Only the New York Mets, folks. Only the New York Mets. Jose Lima, pitcher. Bradley Zimmer. Oh, Carlos Guillen. Not Michael Jackson, but Mike Jackson, pitcher. Lloyd Mosby. And these cards, you know, the packs, like I've, I've sworn before them, uh, they're actually pretty good. Uh, in good condition. I just, uh, the Mookie Wilson card was a little bit uh, scraped. A little crease on the, on the corner. But for the most part, these cards are in good condition. Uh, John Lester. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer with the, uh, with the White Sox here. The Rock. This is Tony Fernandez. So a sad story with him. Recently just passed away too. Uh, former Yankee. Good hitter. Jack McDowell. Former White Sox. Aaron Seeley. Former Red Sox. Greg Harris. Jamie Moyer, who played like baseball until he was 50 something forever. One of his cards here. Reinvented himself. Um, stood out there, you know, uh, on, the, on the mound. Was effective for uh, quite some time. Another Sid Bream card. I think that's three in this pack, or, or two at the very least. Tim Wallach. Dwight Smith, Sean Dunstan, Earl Cunningham. Again, this pack, we're flying through this pack because this pack is not sexy at all. Jeez. Usually you have some things here that are just uh, Jose Guzman. That make you perk up every once in a while. Besides that John Small card. Not much going on. Couple of Met losers. Doug DeSanzo. You know, in, in, in the... Um, uh, Pat Henkin. You know, in the metropolitan area here in New York, all they talk about is the 86 Mets. That's, you know, what they got. And then they mentioned the 2015 Mets, and they didn't even win. So, how about that? Ooh, Dave Telkeeter. Um, hmm, never really... Um, Amounted uh, too much here. Uh, what the uh, what the Mets? Another uh, prospect, uh, local guy, been, uh, born in uh, Middleton, New York. With the ninety three Mets, he was six and two, four point six ERA, twenty four games, seventy five innings. Let's take a look here at uh, Dave. Just out of curiosity, because 
His name does not type it in. Pitch from 93 to 98. 15 and, 9, 15 and 19 win-loss. 5-2-3 ERA. 158 strikeouts. Play with the Mets. 93 to 95. Athletics 96 to 98. Yep. It's never really, uh, unfortunately for you Met fans, never really uh, panned out. Another Von Hayes card. I have a gazillion Von Hayes cards. Oh, followed by another Von Hayes. And like, there you go, uh, a Preston Wilson card. Preston Wilson, son of Mookie uh, Wilson. This looks like it's... Uh, Autographed here. Uh, you could see on the uh, side. Ah, decent hitter, too. Decent hitter. Let's see what here. What do we have? Nineteen ninety eight Bauman Tops card one sixty one Preston Wilson. This is actually, believe it or not, going on. This is um, the chrome refractor. Is this a chrome refractor? No. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see if we had the chrome refractor. It's going for five five bucks here it says chrome refractor this one it looks like it's um about buck 25 on ebay this this a decent little card I'll give you that nice little touch with the autograph robin ventura that's Robert ventura how nolan ryan is <laughs> john smiley Joe Klink. Jose Herrera. Eric. Ooh. Eric Carros. Long time Dodger. Ke Kenny Rogers. Kevin Rogers. Kenny Rogers. Chili Davis. Jamie Brewington. William Van Landingham. Andreas Santana. Brian Brady, Darren Dalton, Jose de, Jose de Jesus, Ozzy Guillen, former manager of the White Sox there, Ron Karkovice, Joey Cora. Another Ron Karkovice card. Let 
Von Schneider. What's with the name Von? <laughs> like, this is a popular name. Jeez. Paul O'Neill. Paul O'Neill. Good Yankee. Let's go, Yanks. The guy would run it through a wall for, for you. He wouldn't, wouldn't even think twice about it. Royce Clayton. Dean Palmer. Sean Estes. Followed by another Sean Estes card. Gerard Perry. Followed by another Gerard Perry card. Mark Bailey. In case you're wondering about Mark Bailey. Um, drafted by the Astros as an infielder. This is a 1987 card. And um, you know, between the minor leagues and the major leagues, 23 home runs, 94 RBI at that point. Tom Conroy. The Brewers leaders. That team card. Eddie Whiteside. Ah, grease on the back of this card. What did someone eat their pizza on it? Uh, Eddie Whitson. My apologies. Jeff Treadway. All right, so we're going to, you know, sometimes it's hit or miss, and it's been a, uh, it's been a miss uh, with this box. We have an unopened pack. Here we go. That means we went through 100 cards so far. This is an unopened pack. This is 1993 Don Ross. Let's see what we have here. Let's try to end this on a high note. And again, hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button. We do. We have a lot of fun here on this channel. Hold on, guys. There you see, unopened, unopened. Chris Haney. Don, Donald Harris. Reggie Jefferson. Okay. Ricky Henderson. Ramon Martinez, the brother of Jose, uh, Pedro Martinez. Gino Pedorale. <laughs> Jeez. Greg Jeffries, what he was touted to be, and it never worked out that way, touted to be for the um, Mets. Oof, they had so much hopes on Greg Jeffries. Phil Hyatt. Dave Malickley, another New York Met. Manny Alexander, former New York Met as well. Jeff Parrott. Tim Spear. Phil Plantier. Steve Sachs and uh, Jay Buhner, great uh, popular guy in baseball in his playing day when he uh, did play. 
So that wraps it up uh, for this unboxing. I think what we're going to come out with, uh, the two top cards of this box, is the Preston Wilson card and a Johnny Smoltz card. Johnny Smoltz 1991 Fleer will be my thumbnail because he's a Hall of Famer. I think this is the gem. So, yeah, this is a gem out of the box, to me, in my uh, my opinion. So I hope all is well, guys. Look forward to chatting with you down the road. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up. Mahalo. Hope all is well. See you later.